briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1995, a court case named United States v. Powers was presented before the United States Court of Appeals for the Fourth Circuit, stirring conversation around the admissibility of evidence of prior transgressions in court proceedings. A focal point was the idea that this kind of evidence may be permissible if it is relevant to an issue other than the accused's character and sufficiently related to the charge at hand. The balance had to be maintained between the probative value of the evidence and the risk of causing unreasonably prejudicial effects. At the heart of this case was Grady William Powers, a man convicted for the sexual abuse of a minor. Powers sought an appeal, as he felt the court had unfairly considered evidence of his previous acts of family violence. He contended that this evidence wrongly influenced the court's decision due to its prejudicial nature. Contrary to Powers' assertion, the court decided that this evidence was indeed crucial in demonstrating why the victim had delayed reporting the abuse. The evidence provided context, highlighting Powers' dominion over his family which caused fear and delayed the revelation of his reprehensible acts. Key pieces of evidence, however, were excluded. Details surrounding the victim's sexual relationships with her boyfriend were deemed irrelevant, as were results of a specific test that Powers had undergone. In the end, the court sided with the lower court's initial judgment. Eyewitness testimonies and subsequent evidence of Powers' abusive tendencies were seen as both relevant and necessary setting an important precedence for the admissibility of past bad acts. Conversely, the court remained prudent and excluded any evidence that lacked a direct connection to the crime or did not meet the standard of scientific validity. After carefully scrutinizing the facts, the court decided to affirm the district court's judgment, thereby denying Power's appeal and upholding his conviction for aggravated sexual abuse of a minor. Case briefs and so much more LS Data's got what you're looking for Visit LSE.law Elevate your mind Leave the stress of class